Hey, what up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here today. Uh, very puzzled uh, by an article that is up on WB.com that was posted today, uh, mainly talking about Daniel Bryan and the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, the hook uh, that got me to uh, check out the article was basically uh, just <laughs> uh, posted on the Twitter saying that um, you know, the WWE fans were becoming uh, a little bit questionable about where Daniel Bryan and the Intercontinental Championship was. Um, basically saying that, um, <laughs> you know, that they don't have an answer. I mean, that, that's the weirdest thing about this is that basically when you think about the way WB.com is run, um, they tried to basically scoop the world on uh, wrestling news. They know about no DD, I'm sorry, they know about NoDQ.com, they know about the Wrestling Observer, they know about uh, pro wrestling scoops and anywhere else that you go to, but they try and make WB.com the number one source for at least WWF news, if not news about other wrestling companies um, around the world that they can sort of uh, just scoop uh, things up with. But when it comes to Daniel Bryan, there's there's no news at all. I don't know if it's because WWE.com or WWE itself is scared by the uh, concussion lawsuits that are being pl uh, uh, placed against them by past uh, and former wrestlers looking to you know, collect on, on being a wrestler and sort of like the NFL lawsuits that are going on with the NFL right now. There is no wrestling union. There's no wrestling pension. Uh, basically, if you're signed to the V, um, you work for a uh, downsized guarantee and that's what you're paid the time you're there. And when WWE has used you up and they figure that there's nothing left uh, to do with you inside of creative, they spit you out and you are gone. But uh, Daniel Bryan uh, had, had a real big scare uh, last year after you know becoming the top dog in the company at WrestleMania 30, winning the uh, the championship uh, by beating Batista and Randy Orton, as well as beating Triple H in the opener of WrestleMania 30. Um, he did wrestle at Extreme Rules against Kane, and then uh, was told that he needed uh, you know some sort of a surgery, and that uh, they that. You know, d details were sketchy at that point. He went in and he had his neck checked out. And then, you know, when he was coming back from the neck injury and people thought it was about the timetable for him to return, then all of a sudden it became an issue that uh, he was not regaining strength in his arms. And uh, the people started saying that he needed to have Tommy John surgery. And then, you know, months went by when we thought that he'd be able to return from the arm surgery. And then word came out that he didn't even have the arm surgery. He was, you know, talking to a doctor. And uh, the doctor was going to be able to fix him without surgery. And that sort of just seemed like, uh, you know, a miracle of, uh, you know, praying to the gods, hoping that it gets better. You would know that WWE, um, you know, sends all of their wrestlers mostly to uh, Dr. James Andrews down in Alabama. Uh, and, you know, he can fix you up. Uh, basically, any injury that you have, uh, he's one of the best surgeons there is in the world. But Daniel Bryan's a different kind of cat. And uh, he wanted to be able to fix himself without getting any kinds of surgery. And uh, he was able to do that. Daniel Bryan came back this year at the Royal Rumble and uh, was a big part of this year's the opening match at WrestleMania, the Intercontinental Championship ladder match. It wasn't really what people wanted to see uh, Daniel Bryan do. Um, but uh, he was going to get that Intercontinental Championship. And it was his job in order to get that championship and bring it back to um, you know the prestigious light that he used to have back in the early 90s by doing sort of like what John Cena was doing with the open challenges on Monday Night Raw. Uh, you know, Brian was supposed to have these awesome matches on SmackDown, really getting wrestling over and uh, showing that that belt was, was worth fighting for. Uh, Brian was supposed to have a match at Extreme Rules against uh, Wade Barrett. Uh, he ended up uh, being pulled from the show without WWE really even giving an answer. Uh, they put Wade Barrett on the pre-show, uh, going up against Neville, uh, your your uh, future King of the Ring uh, finals match. And, um, you know, Brian really hasn't been around. WWE.com takes some shots at Daniel Bryan in this article, basically saying that the Intercontinental Championship needs to be held by a fighting champion and uh, not somebody who's, you know, sitting on the injured reserve. Um, but uh, WWE.com really lets you know that they have no no idea what is going on with Brian? They basically say he could show up on Raw, he could show up on SmackDown, or we could never see him again. Uh, so uh, it is a little bit weird uh, about thinking about what Daniel Bryan's going to do. But uh, as of right now, a lot like last year, um, you know, they had plans to do the Kane versus Daniel Bryan blow off match. Um, it sort of seems like Daniel Bryan versus Wade Barrett is penciled in for payback if Bryan's going to be able to be there.